hello everyone so for today we're going to learn how to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors okay so the theoretical part of this of this chapter i have explained during our uh, synchronous class earlier this week so for today uh, we're going to learn how to calculate eigenvalues and eigenvectors so for eigenvalues you must remember the formula is like this Okay, sorry. Lambda identity minus the metric in uh, we, uh, in question equal to zero. I know this doesn't make sense yet, but um. Okay, I want you to um, try on this example by yourself at home and check whether you will uh, uh, get the same answer or not. And for 3 by 3, uh, there's no need because it won't come up in exams. So, uh, from eigenvalues, you can get the... The value for eigenvector. So, the formula for eigenvector is lambda i minus a, not determinant, dalam kurungan a times x equal to 0. Okay? So, you must remember these two equation. Okay, I think uh, this makes much more sense if we do the... Uh, calculation okay okay so first to find eigen vectors eh, sorry to find eigen values to find eigen values so what is the formula again determinant of lambda i minus a equal to 0. So, what does it mean by lambda i minus a? Uh, the modulus of lambda i minus a. Okay, modulus ni sama lah juga dengan determinant. So, first, lambda i, okay, yang dekat matrix identity, yang mana dekat matrix identity sini? Kali dengan lambda. Okay. Lepas tu tolak A. So A kat sini jadi minus. Minus ni jadi positif ni jadi minus. So lambda tolak 1 ni jadi. Eh, sorry what happened here? Okay. Okay. So this one will be minus 1. And. Wait. There's some problem with my pen I think. Sorry. Okay, I hope there's some problem with my pen. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this again because there's some glitch with my pen here. So to find eigen values, the formula is like this: lambda identity minus a equal to zero. So what does it mean here by this formula is at uh multiply with lambda at this part here the identity part so lambda lambda and then minus a 
for the whole uh, matrix here. So this one will be minus, minus, plus and minus. And replace it into here. So this will be 2 and this will be minus 4. Equal to 0. Okay. So, lambda minus 1 times with lambda minus 4 minus negative 1 times 2 equal to 0. So, what we have lambda square minus lambda minus 4 lambda plus 4. And this one will be plus 2. Eh, sorry. Plus 4, plus 4, okay. Equal to 0. So, it will be lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 equal to 0. So, when you factor that, you will get lambda minus 3 and lambda minus 2. So, lambda, the first lambda is 3 And the second lambda is 2. So that's it. Uh, now you know how to find the agent eigenvalues. So I'm going to erase this all. Uh, and we're going to... I'm going to show you how to find eigenvectors. Okay. So now, second part is how to find eigenvectors. Okay, the formula for eigenvectors is this one, lambda i again minus a, basically the same but it's not uh, to find determinant, just kurungan saja kat luar times x equal to 0. Okay, so now we know the value of lambda is lambda 1 is 3 and lambda 2 is lambda 2 is 2, right? Okay. So, we're going to solve lambda 1 first. Okay. So, lambda 3i minus a times x equal to 0. Okay. And translate it into this metric here. So, 3, 3, 3 and then minus minus 1 minus 1 2 minus 4 times x so this one will be x1 and x2 equal to 0 okay and then what you would do is of course lah so 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 x1 x2 equal to 0 ok so take the first uh, row here so uh, it will be ok my writing is too big I think so it will be 2 x1 minus x2 equal to 0. x2 letakkan kat sini and then x1 x2 uh, jawapan akhir kita nak dalam bentuk ni eh. x1 x2 so this one will be 1, 2. Right. Sebab kat sini 1, sini 2, dia pindah-pindah. Eh. I hope you can understand this. So, next one kita akan buat cari ajen, untuk ajen vektor yang lagi 1. Okay. So, ajen vektor yang lagi 1 berapa? 
Lambda sama dengan 2. Okay. So again, 2i tolak a times x equal to 0. Masukkan dalam persamaan. So 2, 2 tolak 1, tolak 1 tambah 2. Eh sorry, sorry. Tolak 4. I hope you can understand this. Okay. And then this one as Sorry. X1, X2 equal to 0. Okay. So, 2. Ambil yang first row saja. Eh. So, 2 tolak 1 is. 1. Negatif 1. 2. 2 tolak 4. Negatif 2. X1, X2 equal to 0. Ambil yang first row saja. Darab dengan yang ni. Okay. So, akan jadi. X1 minus X2 equal to 0. X1 equal to X2. And then X1, X2 akan dapat 1, 1. So, jawapan akhir untuk uh, persamaan for the whole question is like this. Okay. So, jawap, uh, sorry. So, Y sama dengan C1 E lambda 1 tambah C2 E lambda 2. Okay. I miss, I miss something. So, it will be X, alamak, asalnya. Okay, I'm going to erase everything. Okay, X sama dengan C1, X1, E, lambda, 1, T, plus C2, X2, E, sorry, E, lambda, 2, T. So, C ni awak tak perlu risau sebab memang kita tak dapat. And, X1 is... Apa yang kamu dapat tadi? Agen vectors untuk lambda 1 tadi. Agen vectors untuk lambda 1 tadi. Iaitu berapa? Tulis tak ni? 1, 2. E. Lambda 1 adalah 3 T. Okay. C2 X2. Berapa X2 tadi? 1, 1 kan? E. Lambda 2 adalah 2 T. Okay. Final answer should look like this. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to do the second example. Okay, first find the eigen vectors. Sorry. Eigen vectors pula. Eigen value, sorry. Agent values. Okay. Lambda I tolak A equal to 0. So again, lambda, lambda and then minus everything. Minus 2, minus 2, minus 5 plus, plus 1. Equal to zero. So, cari penentu dia. Lambda tolak dua. Kali dengan lambda tambah satu. Tolak. Negatif dua kali negatif lima dapat sepuluh. Tolak sepuluh. Sama dengan kosong. So, kamu akan dapat lambda square. Tolak dua lambda. Tambah lambda. Tolak dua. Tolak sepuluh. So, kamu akan dapat lambda square tolak lambda tolak 12 sama dengan kosong. So, fakturkan dapat lambda tambah 3 dan lambda tolak 4. So, lambda 1 is minus 3 and lambda 2 is 4. Now, we want to find the eigen vectors.
Okay, so eigenvectors for the first lambda. For lambda 1, which is proper tadi, minus 3. So again, tulis lah. Uh, selai, uh, kena sentiasa tulis formula eh. Nanti takut terlupa. Okay. So lambda dekat sini kalikan dengan lambda 3, 3, lepas tu tolak. Tolak, ni jadi tolak 2, ni jadi tolak 2, ni jadi tolak 5, and ni jadi tambah 1. Oh sorry, I forgot this. Negative 3, and ni jadi... Tolak. Dia tambah satu. Okay. X1, X2. Kuat tu zero. Okay. So, kita ambil atas je kan. So, jadi negatif lima X1. Tolak dua X2. Sama dengan kosong. So, negatif lima X1. Sama dengan dua X2. Dan kumpulkan X dekat sebelah kiri. Akan dapat 2 jadi negatif 5. Ok. So, agent vectors untuk uh, uh, lagi satu nilai of agent values. Okay, kali hijau pula. Okay, untuk lambda 2 sama dengan 4. Right. Okay. So, lambda I tolak A times X equal to 0. So, again, kalikan dengan lambda. Lambda 4. 4 tolak everything. Untuk uh, minus A. So, jadi 4 tolak 2, jadi tolak 2 kat sini, tolak 5 dan ni adalah jadi tambah kan. Tolak-tolak jadi tambah 1. Eh, sorry, lupa pula. Okay. Okay, ambil yang kat atas je. So, jadi 4 tolak 2 berapa? 2x1 tolak 2x2 equal to 0. So, yang ni nampak tak? Sama macam uh, apa? So, uh, soalan yang mula-mula kan X1 sama dengan X2 So ni boleh uh, cancel kan Akan dapat 1 1 1 So jawapan akhir macam mana X Sama dengan C1 Saya akan tulis lagi sekali C1 X1 E lambda 1 T tambah C2 X2 E lambda 2 T. Okay. So, apply dalam yang ni. So, C1. X1 tadi dapat berapa? X1 tadi dapat 2 over negative 5 kan? Okay, kalau saya silap. Um, tolong bagi tahu saya. Okay. So, E lambda 1 tadi. Negatif 3 T. Tambah C2. X2 1 1. Kali E. Kuasa 4 T. So ni adalah jawapan akhir. So that's all for this subchapter. Okay have um, nice holiday everyone. Okay see you guys. Bye.